Hey everybody, it's Kristen, and welcome to Voyager Review. We've sailed out of Port Everglades a few times recently, and each time we couldn't help but think, dang it, it'd be nice to drop into Disney World while we're here. So today, we're at the Brightline Station in Fort Lauderdale to put it to the test and find out if the speed, comfort, and style of the Brightline can take a Disney cruise from Port Everglades and turn it into a land-sea Disney vacation with only a short train ride up to Orlando. We breezed through the touchless turnstiles at security and arrived at the main station. This area has plenty of open space and a good amount of seating with USB and AC outlets to charge and power your devices while you're waiting for your departure. They have their in-station bar, Mary Mary, serving up drinks as well as a market with beverages, snacks, and various accessories and essentials. I know the station's still fairly new, but I gotta say I was really impressed with just how clean and modern everything was and hanging out here while we waited was really quite pleasant. When it's time to go, they'll send you down to the platform. Waiting for the train to come in was actually kind of exciting. The weather outside was hot, but still it was so nice and we were vibing out. Before we knew it, our chariot had arrived and we were ready to board. The boarding process is pretty straightforward. With Brightline, you pick where you sit, so we already knew where our seats were. There's plenty of overhead space for luggage and Brightline allows two carry-on size bags per person. Bathrooms are large, single person, with modern fixtures like the Dyson dryers and motion sensors with a touch-free flush. Our seats were very comfortable, especially compared to cramped airplane seats I'm used to. These on Brightline were perfect. For us, it was just two hours between Fort Lauderdale and Orlando. Very fast, very comfortable. We are totally sold on the Brightline. This was a really easy and fun way to travel. Certainly beats driving, and if you can manage to book seats on a promo, you can easily use Brightline to make the most of your visit here in Florida, spend time at the Orlando theme parks, and then ride the train down to Port Everglades for a cruise or vice versa. Thanks for watching. Please like and make sure you're subscribed to follow along and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.